I've come to Royston to visit the Royston Cave and uh, you see this street right behind me here. Now there were some workmen and they were actually erecting a bench and as they went to move the bench they saw a stone and a gap in the floor and they realised that was actually a cave. Hence the reason we're here today, Royston Caves. It's a big tourist attraction. Well I've certainly picked my day to come to Royston because we've got the sort of town fair and the classic car exhibition here as well. This is my car here, the bubble car. That's the one I'll pick. <laughs> I can safely say I am definitely not going on that thing. <laughs> You're not persuading me, Joe. So you can get here very easy from London, actually. Um, there's a Thames Link train comes all the way up to Royston, get off, and the um, place itself is around about a 15 minute walk. What are you looking forward to seeing? Oh. Along here. So Joe's looking forward to getting into the pub and I'm looking forward to getting down there uh, and apparently they found a skull and um, some various drinking vessels. The cave costs five pounds for adults and two quid for children. We're not allowed to film in the caves however I have taken some photographs to share with you. The tour itself takes around about 30 minutes. No one knows the age of the cave However, it was found in 1742 purely by accident. The cave itself is beehive shaped and man-made. There's medieval carvings all the way around the cave walls. Some theories suggest the cave was used by the Knights Templar. They're a little bit like what the Freemasons are now. Other theories suggest the cave was used by King James I. Some people believe that the Michael and Mary Lee lines meet inside the cave. Lee lines are thought to connect sacred sites across the world with electromagnetic energy. Well, I've got to say, I've had a fabulous day out here in Royston and the caves were absolutely fantastic. Very historic, very interesting as well. Um, but whenever I go somewhere, I always have to leave with a friend. And I saw this little thing outside a charity shop Reviver. I thought, you can't go wrong. So this is a new addition to my living room. I think it'll look good, don't you? If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click subscribe at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to tune in next month for the next video as well. That's it for now here in Royston. Come on, walk this.